What is up everybody? My name is just a fun guy. This is just a fun guy coins. I actually have a couple of new coins I want to show you and I have an update. You may have not seen me upload a video in this format for a couple of weeks and that's because I've been experimenting with uh, YouTube shorts on my phone. And they've actually been doing quite well for me. My last short has almost a thousand views on it and that's the most views I've gotten in a video in a long time. And yes, no comments on my hair. I need a haircut bad. I combed it, but I, that, that, that only does so much. And I'm going to get it cut, but you know what? Let's just keep it wild for the video. I, I, I don't care anymore at this point. Um, f but before I get to the coins, and I just got off topic here, I want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I'm actually recording this on Thanksgiving Day, so it's going to be a late Thanksgiving for all of you, but I still wish it. And um, a little backstory on these coins that I have for you. About a month or two ago, there is a, uh, an antique shop that opened up near where my grandma lives. And uh, she picked me up from... Uh, uh, the, Little backstory on this, I don't have a car. My mom didn't want to drive all the way to my grandma's house, so she drove about halfway. My grandma took me the other half, so she took me to this antique store. And it was a pretty cute little store, and I, it was big too. It had a lot of stuff in it, including this beautiful wooden cabinet. It was huge. It, it would take up, it would take up my whole back wall. Like, you see, from it would take up from here from there probably to where my bookshelf is right there now not quite that far but from there to maybe about where my uh, piano is so it was huge but it was beautiful and it was a beautiful antique for about like 20 bucks i think she said 20 or 50 but either way it, it was beautiful so to avoid my rambling, I'm going to give you how I found these coins. That this antique shop had a section with this box of coins, or they had a coin dealer coming, and I found a box of old coins. And th this one was, I think, a 50 cents or a dollar, and this one was 50 cents. So my grandma was like, okay, I'll, bu I'll buy them for you. And this is actually a really great price, too. I don't know who the coin dealer is, but he knows his stuff. And, uh, got them home, and, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you them. First coin I have to show you. If I can open up the bag here. Which I don't know if I'm going to keep it in this bag, or if I'm going to... I think I have something else I'm going to put in this bag as well. It is a large ascent from 1917. Let's see if we can get this damn thing to focus. Damn thing ain't going to focus. But it's a large scent from 1917. And it has King George V on the front of it. King George V has definitely seen better days. The front of it is definitely a little slick. But you can still see the detail. You can still see his mustache. You can still see the crown. It's just some of the finer features that have been uh, slicked back from it. And it's not the only large scent from Canada that I have. I think I showed you my other Canadian large scent. Hold on a second while I uh, dig... My other large scent out here. It's in my uh, collection back here. I have a whole thing of Canadian Canadian coins that I've collected over. Here it is, all my Canadians. And if I dump it out, I, I don't know if I removed it. Oh, here it is. This is my other large scent that I have. 
and the back of this one is more slick, but it's from 1898, and it has Queen Victoria on it. So what I think I'll do is I'll take my large set from my Canadians that has Queen Victoria on it, and put it with King George V. Mother and son reunited. Just put all my uh, Canadians back. And this is from all my hunts that I've done over these, the uh, months and years I've done hunts. And these are just young heads in King George V. No, King Young Heads and King George VI. All the other Canadians, I give to Jay Shmoney because he can all, collect all of them. And we're so close to the border. Um, even during the lockdown when Canadians weren't even allowed in the country, we, we still had Canadians in circulation. And now that Canadians are allowed back in the country, at least from where I live, I, I bet you I'm going to see a lot more. Especially in my next hunt, which I don't know what my next hunt is going to be. Jay Shimani and I, uh, we haven't uh, been communicating on our next hunt as of late because we both have our like own lives. He's got schooling, I got a job, and it just... Working 30 to 40 hours a week takes a lot of your time up. Who would have thought? And uh, the next coin that I have is a token. This is a trolley token from 1908. And it's pre-hold. And this one was a 50 cent coin. I actually find it pretty cool. An old trolley token. I don't think I've ever taken one before. And it wasn't around in 1908. Neither were my parents, grandparents, even great-grandparents weren't even born back in those days. But uh, it would have been cool to, to uh, use one of these tokens to take the trolley back in the early 1900s. I don't have much to say on it, but it says three cent ticket, 1908. So it must have been worth at least three cents. And if you want to see more on it, let me know down below. And this is just my update and coin collection update I wanted to show you. And uh, I sure hope you all have a great Thanksgiving, great holiday coming up. And with that being said, my name is Just a Fun Guy, and well, I'm signing off. So long, YouTube.